Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another episode of the Burton Burger Podcast. It is episode 244, and yep, you read that title right. We have ourselves a guest for the first time and I want to say 18, maybe 19 years. Not sure. Uh, it's your boys, Burton Burger nope. and friend of the show. One of my buddies that I met uh, about, uh, I don't know, three minutes ago, Rio. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How's it going, Rio? I am good. I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to get canceled by you guys. Hell yep. yeah. Get in line. <laughs> get in yeah. line, man. Um, <laughs> we would uh, introduce Rio a little bit better, but he doesn't have a fucking name, I guess. So he said, just call me Rio. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Our boy uh, Rio, he's uh, he's been a friend of the show. I actually played in an org with him a little bit ago. Actually, here's the thing, Rio. Our last guest was Ashley. I see uh, that in the chat, yeah. Yeah, they were our last person to come on uh, from that org that me and you played in together. So, yeah, I guess we're taking a trip down memory lane by the <laughs> fucking time you got your ass on this show. Um, but... We decided to bring Rio on for a couple of different reasons. First of all, um, he keeps asking me to come on. It's been yep. kind of annoying. <laughs> No, but Rio is a little artist. He has an Instagram and a website uh, that he posts his cute little drawings on. I and if I, if I do say so myself, they're pretty impressive. And he draws a lot of survivor related content. And he has an actual shit ton of real life survivor contestants reach out to him saying, yo, this shit fucking suck. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but this is crazy. Uh, yo, fucking yeah, noon yourself. Um, <laughs> okay. But no, Rio's got some cool shit on Instagram. Tell us a little bit about it, man. And uh, what's it like to be fucking stand by all these Survivor contestants? Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I'm, I want to think of when I first started doing this because I, 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 I love Survivor. Mm -hmm. I just started doodling, and I, 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 I think I, I think I, I drew Bryce from Kagiyan, and then okay. I. Tagged him and then he saw it and then he reposted it and I got followers from that and I got addicted to that feeling. So then I kept drawing people and like I I would go I would and then I would I would just like go for the people that like I think would see it and then I started like getting more bold and to the point where I just drew every contestant from every season and then from the like the current season that's that's playing and eventually yeah I get I'm addicted to people the survivor fans the survivor players seeing it and then yeah, sharing it. I would be too. It's been it's like my <laughs> vice. Crazy. It is. Yeah. No, it's it's pretty dope. I mean, it's better than like it's better to be addicted to that than porn like Bert. But <laughs> okay. um, I think um, it's you. You definitely have like a unique style. And I think one of my favorite parts is like I've read some of your uh, comments and somebody said uh, I don't remember who it was about. And they were like, yo, you didn't have to go that hard on. So and so oh you're yeah. like, no, it's not that it's just my style. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, when you draw real life people, um, especially because I want them to see it. I mm. am very conscious of not being too mean with exaggerating their features. Like if someone if if someone has a big nose like burger, I, I wouldn't want to draw it. <laughs> Mm -hmm. too big but you mm -hmm. do want to draw it a little big because it because it looks like you and that, that's the hardest balance i've i've had and, I, and i've had I've, I've had survivor people see my drawings and be like uh i don't like this i drew austin from 45 and he saw it and he was like you didn't have to go so hard i'm like dude it's, it's a caricature some people are better sports about it but yeah that's 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 been the challenge because when you're drawing someone who who you're, who's not going to see, you can go as hard as you want. But when you're drawing people that you want to see it, <laughs> you want to be a little gentle. So that's been the balance I've learned. Yeah, no, seriously. I mean, I don't know. As long as I didn't have like too big a man boobies or anything, I think <laughs> well, I'd be OK. Well, I don't it's know what you look like. Anything. So, yeah, well, you know what? We're going to keep it that way. Maybe but you do a face reveal tonight. Ooh. Yeah. Um, just check your DMs later. <laughs> cutie, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I and I absolutely love it. And so again, I would say Rio's Instagram name, but I don't know if he's going to change it. We're going to have it linked um, in yeah, the about description. That. Yeah, no, I'm again. You're just hurting yourself here. But <laughs> anyways, um, well, uh, Rio Rio's a very good friend of the podcast, guys. So we're going to have a little bit more um, insults than usual with people we don't know. <laughs> but he. Um, if you guys check out his Instagram, you'll see all of his awesome drawings from different TV 
shows and mainly Survivor and things like that. You'll also notice um, I do have a cousin. His name's Bert. Yo. He is here. There. Thank you What's for talking. Uh, <laughs> I'm not um, going to say words, just noises. Yo. Yeah. Um, uh-huh. <laughs> uh, you'll notice on Rio's Instagram, he doesn't have a single fucking Bert and Burger piece up there. Damn. You want to you wanna tell us why that is, Rio, or... Uh, Did the check on bounce it. or something? Or I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Because I need to see what you look like. You want me to draw you guys? I, I need to see what you look like. <laughs> Drew some well, source images. On, so turn on that little webcam. Let's let's see what you're rocking with. Yeah, I'm shirtless. Uh, so <laughs> and pantsless. Um, he don't care. Yeah. Like, and uh, yeah. and. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's the thing: is we got plenty of material to go off of Rio. I drew. Your, I drew. I, we're still working on that org stuff. Yeah, well, we'll get to that, too. Uh, Mm -hmm. Rio drew me a cookie after eight months. Um, I really appreciate you drawing a fucking chocolate chip cookie for a math puzzle. Now, (laughs) now uh, challenge number two out of like 17 in our orgs completed. Um, Nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, It's it's getting there. Um, But yeah, I just uh, we we have some art for for Burton Burger that we've had um, commissioned in the past and. Rio gets um, excited every time he sees it. Um, I do. I like the burger. And there's there's other words I would use, but Rio asked me to, you know, <laughs> chain it back a little bit this episode. Cool, it's so just a little. Yeah. yeah. I'll respect yeah, yeah, my yeah. friend. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, and then he doesn't do anything for us. So I'm I'm thinking the checks Bert, Bert sent you must have bounced. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're working um, on it. We're, we're, it'll, it'll come. Sure, it's an active yeah. negotiation. Yeah, story of my life. So, <laughs> but yeah. So, do you have uh, like anything specific? I know we we're not going to talk about your your art too long, but any direction that you're trying to go with this art? I see you have a website and stuff too. Or is this just something you kind of do on the side? Yeah, I mean, I would love to get start. Like, I would love to do this full time as a job. And it, it's you have to it's the story with every working artist that I, that I talk to, you start with nothing for the first year and then you get, you get one gig and then you get another gig and like it, it, it snowballs into something more. So I'm at the point where I'm getting more and more stuff coming in, which is exciting, but it is a slow burn. So mm-hmm. my, my goal, and I, I think it, I think it'll happen is just, I just want to stay at home and draw off and get paid for that. I don't want to have to work a nine to five. Mm-hmm. Well, you definitely got the talent to do so. You just, I would say your biggest flaw is just not following through on your promises <laughs> to your friends. Yeah, yeah. So other than that, you do a pretty good job. <laughs> um, so no, I mean, I'm just scrolling through this art and it's, it's really fucking cool. Is it mainly like um, the new age, new era people that have reached out to you? Or have you had some old school like legends? Yeah, let me think. Um, I think Earl Cole. I, I don't know if, how many seasons you've seen, guys, but Earl the Cole, winner the winner from Fiji. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. Um, reached out and was like, "Hey, let's 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 work together on something." And so Dope. that was that was that was pretty exciting. That was a few years ago. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's mostly yeah, mostly is like current players and stuff. Probably, that yeah. Yeah. yeah no that's yeah. Oh, well, and that's kind of what you draw a lot at least on on insta here um yeah but no it's it's cool your latest one is one of jeff so i hope he uh reaches out i tagged him he didn't even see it <laughs> dickhead <laughs> i'll draw for hell? his podcast this one's pretty yeah, great <laughs> yeah he has uh do you are you do you watch his podcast no i don't when it, do you guys? When it comes out i i've listened to every fucking episode dude how is it it's all right. <laughs> I mean, Be better you know, me on it, of course. <laughs> um, oh boy, I got to be good again. This is Rio's episode, my yeah, show. But nice. we'll we'll move the goalposts. We're all for Rio. here. <laughs> um, geez, I don't know. No, I mean, I I enjoy it. If Bert knows better than anybody, if I didn't like it, I wouldn't fucking listen to it. So the fact that I've listened to every episode is saying something. Mm-hmm. But it's very not. Uh, laid back like it's it very feels structured. pretty yeah pretty structured pretty scripted they have an mm. agenda they want to talk it's kind of like real survivor too like i feel like on the show itself and we'll we'll jump more into actual viver but you see like the pg versions of everybody and i know they have to make it suitable for television but you can't imagine they're 
just they're just sitting around all talking in Disney yeah. language to each other the whole time. <laughs> it's like, you know, fuck you, you know, you you cheated when you when you placed that plate down a little bit lower. I fucking saw it, pussy. Um, but they bleep that out, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I want to. I'm scared to ask, but okay. So you guys were Russell Hans podcast fans, right? Mm-hmm. How was that? I never I never got around to listening to those. Um. So I I. How was it, Bert? How'd you <laughs> yeah. do? You gonna say anything? No, here, I don't. I, I, I have not seen that one. Okay. All right. Yeah. So, okay. Well, I guess I'm gonna retell the story to Bert that I've said 30 times to Bert. <laughs> I love it. Uh, I love it. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I, I oh, didn't go one. on his oh, podcast. Geez. Yeah. Retard. Oh, um, Word on her pussy. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> um, yeah, 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 boy, you're bringing back some memories. Uh, he, I didn't go on his podcast. I talked to him on the phone for like an hour, and um, we were going to start our own podcast yeah, afterwards. Yeah. And then he continued to ghost me and unfollowed me from. Did Twitter, you so. have plans for that? I don't think I've ever heard of like did like what you envisioned doing with him. Like, did you like did you think about it, or was it just like dead like on arrival? Like you didn't really get to that point. The millisecond he brought that up, I immediately <laughs> knew it wasn't going to happen. Oh, man. Because I have a cousin named Bert that oh. bullshits like the best of them. And I it, like he'll come up with these great ideas, particularly for our podcast <laughs> that I know he's not going to do. Um, so he'll be like, yo, I was thinking we could do this for this video. And then I'm like, yo, that's dope. Let me know how it goes. He's like, I will working on it now. Never hear from him ever again. <laughs> yeah. So there's a lot of, uh, would, all the back burners are filled. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, they just get burnt and I forget about them, but they're not on the burners. They're like in between the burners and stuff. <laughs> they're not even on. It's so much of rotten food. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're, yeah. So, the, so Russell was just, oh man, he, I'm pretty sure he was pretty fucking intoxicated uh, when we talked on the telephone. (laughs) And um, I I, we talked for about 54 minutes. And I think for 52 of those minutes was just him talking. And I got about two minutes of words in there altogether. If you add up all the seconds and uh, yeah, he basically said he wanted to start a podcast with someone where he could just bullshit with. He didn't want it to be survivor themed. He didn't want it to be interview. E. He just wanted to just shoot the shit. And I'm like, I'm your, and then he just keeps cutting me off. Uh, and, <laughs> yeah. to talk. Uh, uh, and I'm like, boy, this is going to be a fun fucking show. Uh, um, yeah. We, we hung up on the phone and then, he told me to let him know about like, cause he was so obsessed with naming it. He wanted to know the name of it and he wanted to start branding it immediately. And I threw him some names afterwards and he just never even responded. Do you remember any of those? I don't know. It was some, some stupid fucking shit. Like, I think I went to Reddit and I said, now in theory, if you were to start a podcast oh, with that's Russell, yeah. <laughs> what would you call it? And they were like some names like I'm not done podcasting just yet or something like that from when he said that in Samoa. Um, I have a good one. I thought yeah. about it when I saw his podcast. What would you call it? Russell Rants. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna if you hit didn't unfollow that. you guys on Twitter, he would have that, but that, that stays here. <laughs> True. <laughs> this is an He's a property. weekly listener. Russell Rance, I like that. I yeah, spell it with a Z like his last name, but yeah, no, that's good. Damn. Well, what could have been? I'm gonna kick it out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be my cousin now. <laughs> that's the only reason why he wanted to come on. Yeah, was to drop that bomb yeah. and then disappear. He wanted to drop I've it. Ha- I've actually yeah. had that for a few years. That's smart. Fuck. That's dope. <laughs> could have used you uh, when Russ was on the horn. Um, oh, yeah, maybe that would have kept him around. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I I found out that he was asking other people to start a podcast with him too, not like other contestants, okay, cool. like actual fucking um like random people on Twitter. I wonder how many he people like, he called. I, I know, seriously, <laughs> like it's insane and I remember I thought I was cool cuz I had his phone number saved on my phone and <laughs> it's literally in my contacts as well. Are you ever tempted to like text him or call him? 
Yeah, I mean, I would like to, but I I just want to keep the memory in my head. Our our last interaction to be one of Starlight and yeah, was pretty special. Yeah, save it for Randy. You said warts on pussies and stuff. So, anyways, (laughs) um, but he uh, he would say it to other people, and I thought I was so cool that I had his number. And then there was that whole thing with Wendell, where he like leaked Wendell's phone number. I, do, I remember hearing about that. You're yeah. Like, oh. And then he's like, I don't give a fuck. Here's my phone number. Then he put his number out there. I'm like, oh, Holy it was actually his number. I think it's a number he said that he uses to contact fans and stuff. So is that the one you have? Yeah. yeah. I looked and it was the exact same. Number. That's like, fucking Damn. crazy. I don't give my fuck. Thought. Here's my number. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's like, fuck all you guys. Here it is. <laughs> Man. Fuck. Um, so... No, I miss old Russ. You should draw Russell if you haven't already. I feel like I must have. He's going to block you. Yeah, I want to <laughs> yeah. tag him. Yeah. yeah. Nah, nah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> just, just make him cute. Yeah, Russell, he can get some of those beady blue eyes going or whatever color <laughs> his eyes are. He can look yeah. cute sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, no, that was that was fun. We've had uh we've had coach on um as well. Coach, he was dope. Sydney. Yeah, we had uh Sydney on and she was one that was telling us like how she would like cuss up a storm and then Danny would be like, Yo, they're not gonna give you that much TV time. She's like, I don't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fuck them. And so hell yeah. We were talking about this a little bit, Bert, but I remember Sydney was talking about like on some her story on Instagram. She said something about how um if she was asked if she wanted to come back on 50, if she would. And she's like, eh, you know, I think about it, but honestly, I don't really need to. I mean, I've already accomplished so much in my life already. It's not something I need to do. And most of the time when I hear those types of responses. I'm like, like, okay, mm, nice. Okay. Mm, yeah. Same with me. I have such a great family back home uh, where I just wouldn't <laughs> need to leave it to go to Survivor. Uh-huh. Um, but then I thought about it. I'm like, you know, Cindy might be one of the only people on this planet where she could say that and I'd actually believe her. <laughs> like believe it all yeah. the way through. Yeah. 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 Like you're you're right i mean you really don't need to do this you've already accomplished quite the shit she's like been to every single country on the planet and she's like a fucking lawyer oh yeah oh yeah yeah and she's fucking gorgeous (laughs) and she's been on survivor i mean like what the fuck else could she accomplish at this point yeah it's not a bad resume yeah so and then here we are talking to a guy that doodles survivor and he's talking to Two fucking inbreds. So, <laughs> yeah, fuck. <laughs> yep. That's uh, that's where we are uh, in life. So, but yeah, no, uh, Sydney, if you want to come back on, uh, doors open. Anyways, uh, <laughs> Bert, what what do you want to talk to our lovely guest about before we start diving deep into the new season of Survivor coming up? Oh fuck! All right, I figured this was gonna happen. So, <laughs> yeah, no. um. No, I was just going to say, I'm always weird about like dragging it back into other things that we said, other things we like talked about, you know, now we're like in fucking survivor land, but cool. Let's draw attention to how weird it's going to be that you're going to do a weird thing (laughs) now. I know, I know. (laughs) Fuck, fuck, fuck. No, I'm just scrolling through everything. And, um, what the fuck? You even have burger shit on here from 2022. What the hell is this? Do you want to keep us like posted on what the fuck you're talking about? Yeah, no, no, no. I was just, I. I was curious at the beginning because like same I I uh for the cookie picture the burger was was referencing earlier I had to make like a placeholder and I was pretty proud of it but it obviously got shadowed out by your cookie sucked <laughs> by exactly by the official the official uh cookie drawer goddamn cookie drawer yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I'm proud of that one too <laughs> resident I wanted to ask I, I'll ask you guys this and so so you've had Sydney you've had coach I remember, Mm -hmm. can we, do you guys have any, like, have you guys gotten close to having anyone else? I remember you said it's definitely LaGrosso almost came on once. Yeah, boy, we, uh, reached out to a handful. (laughs) We've had a lot of people say yes and then completely stop talking. (laughs) We're probably on a list from CBS. So, yeah, I, I would not be surprised. I, I, no, Bert. They, we've talked to someone from CBS. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Um, but whether or not we're so on a, like a black list. I, I don't know. So, sidetrack from your cookie story, real quick, Bert. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Rio asked a better question. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we, I don't really know. I won't say names like here, but uh, yeah, this bit, no, uh, kidding. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. We had a couple of people from Sydney season. I probably said names already, but I don't fucking oh, care. Not that I've heard. Um, we were we were supposed to have three people, including Sydney, come on the show from forty one. Hmm. Sydney was the well. Um, we can cut this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is Sydney okay. was like the last one to reach it back out to us. So we Bert and I were already excited about the other two people because they said yes before the season even started mm-hmm. so we were like oh fuck those two people are gonna come on our show and i kept telling my mom and dad that i'm like yo she's coming on the pod let's go hell yeah and then like sydney like by episode eight or something to 41 finally responded saying yeah it's got to be after the show's over or something but i'll come on so i'm like though okay i don't really know which one you are but uh because we were so <laughs> obsessed with the other two to come on and then she ended up being the only one that fucking came on so we were like really fucking grateful for that um she'll live on in our hearts yeah uh, uh, (laughs) yeah so honestly i know they're strict about that shit because there's someone on this season who's from rhap who like Mm -hmm. she doesn't even like talk about it Mm -hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah no like it's so that's the thing, though, is I feel like what happened is one of them was like really nice about it, like saying, you got to contact this person here, email them at CBS, oh, wow. make sure I can come on. So we did. The other one just stopped talking to us. And then Sydney came on. So the, we, we reached out to an actual CBS person. <laughs> yeah. And then they said, hey, guys, can you send me like, can you tell me a little bit about your show? And I didn't link the show or anything. I just told them about it. And then. I think I. You, said um, you should have lied just straight up. Yeah, what'd you say about it? <laughs> I, I don't remember. I I I, I think I also comment. submitted my audition clip too. Oh, um, you idiot! In yeah, that email, just, and that's funny. I don't know. And then we never heard from them ever that's again. The lady, funny. CBS <laughs> didn't reach back out. The per, per, Survivor contestant didn't say anything. We were done. So fuck. But. I think it's because my theory is, is the two gals that said they were going to come on actually have a chance to go back on Survivor. Mm-hmm. And I don't think Sydney really gives a fuck. So <laughs> yeah. that's why she'll burn a bridge. She, if she, came on. she, she might have burned some bridges by doing as much <laughs> yeah. uh-huh. stuff Damn, as she not. has done. I hope not. Um, she was more iconic than. I thought she was when I first watched it, but daddy likes himself. Well, it could just be like the season (laughs) wraps up and you're just like, you already have to do so many things. You don't want to just, it's like you're over, you're done talking about it. I hope that's the case and not just because you guys are a pariah and CBS said, don't fucking talk to these inbreds. (laughs) Exactly. Uh, Yeah. yeah. Don't talk to these people that have six followers. Um, Stay away. Yeah. Yeah. So I think, I think, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to guess it was something along those lines. And then we've had a lot of people say um, y- yes and then kind of disappeared. Like, yeah, Stephanie was one where she was on some show, like fucking Snake in the Grass or I did, something I like that. that. <laughs> yeah, she said she could come on after that show was over. And then after that show was over, she made it so we couldn't message her anymore. <laughs> Whoa. Um, what happened? So, That's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> I don't really know. Oh, There's been <laughs> other folks here and there. I mean, Russell kind of talked about coming on when I was talking to him, but I don't believe anything he says <laughs> anymore. Oh, uh, no. Um, I don't. But yeah, we've also just kind of stopped as well. I mean, Twitter's really cracked down on how you can message people now Mm -hmm. because of the whole switching to X thing and and all of that. So it's been harder to reach out to peeps. Um, but we're, we're still working on it. Um, the, the lack of guests we've had from Ashley to Rio (laughs) is not on purpose. Uh, Let me tell you that. Um, There's plenty of, uh, bait in the water. Yeah. Get out there. Yeah. Yeah. It's, and I've had a lot of people like I would hop in their live streams 
And after chatting for a bit, I'd be like, yeah, you know, we'd love to have you. What would you be interested in coming on our podcast? And it's just quiet. And he goes, uh, Burton Burger, I'm all set. Thank you, though. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah. So and I, I remember it was some guy like he was like doing some ship simulator on TikTok where he would like have this ship and see if it could survive these waves. <laughs> Like That's actual it. fucking waves, not like waves of zombies yeah, or anything. Yeah, yeah. Like water. Uh huh. <laughs> and another guy, remember I told you he'd write your name out really cool? Yeah, yeah. He just wrote your name. Yeah. That's all he did. He just, it was probably fucking Rio. Rio, do you make uh, videos on TikTok <laughs> yeah. where you write people's name out real cute and stuff? <laughs> I've seen those, but no, yeah, I they told us to get bent. So, <laughs> yeah. Mm, good. It's like, dude, just, you fucking draw people's <laughs> names. Okay. Um, <laughs> But yeah, no, we've we've had a handful of people uh, say yeah or or something like that, or it just fell through. I mean, Carolyn was another one um, from 40. What was she from? 46, 44, 40, 44. 44. Yeah. Um, and I liked Carolyn before she was cool. I don't know if you remember this, Rio, but. When that season first came out, like everybody fucking hated Carolyn. She was weird for a song. long time. Yeah. And then no, I love she, Carolyn. Yeah. Now she's very popular and a lot of people love her, but she did not get good uh, press at first. <laughs> she's awesome. Yeah. And have I, I love guys, her. Have you guys ever had like non survivor people? Like, what, 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 like, oh like, boy, have is we? it do you guys just want survivor people or do you like guys reach out to like just, other pig farmers. I don't know what you guys do in. <laughs> yeah. 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 A yeah. lot of pig farmers, Peterbilt. Yeah. Pig, cow, goat. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I mean, it, it's just, uh, we've, we've had a lot of people on the show from people that draw hentai like yourself to, nice. um, <laughs> to, um, fucking, uh, Desk survivors. Offers. Yeah, disc golfers and magicians and uh, sport highlight people. We've had some YouTubers that have pretty big uh, YouTube channels that do sport related stuff on here uh, before. Uh, honestly, sports was our big theme for a while. Um, yeah, those were the people that actually would not tell us to get bent. It was insane. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, and it was weird. Like the more followers we got, the less people wanted to come on. I don't know why. <laughs> so weird yeah when we had like 11 followers and we were like touching our pointer tips together like hey you want to come on our podcast it'd be so cool <laughs> um, like mm, yeah sure yeah and they're like yeah i'd love to I'm like holy fuck and now i ask like people with 400 followers and you're like get bent losers fucking clout <laughs> chasers funny. i don't even put like cock and ball torture in the fucking titles anymore <laughs> Still, yeah i was like actively yeah. trying to scare people before yeah Bert, we used to go pretty hard in the titles i remember I one time i had to like pull my car over it was like <laughs> it was literally something like and then Bert just bleeps every word out i say right now and i'm like yeah we can't we can't do that Bert. yeah yeah, was, <laughs> we we can't do that. So <laughs> yeah, in the moment, I'm like, what do you mean? It's silly, and you're like, well, it's not about it being silly. It's about yeah. it being presentable. Yeah, exactly. We want people to think we're edgy, but not fucking pig farmers, <laughs> as Rio says. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, uh, Apex Legends, Rio. Yeah the the game. Yeah, we actually had the voice actor for one of the legends say he would oh, come cool. on um it was cool we've gotten we've gotten <laughs> close to it he's kind of edging us hard so <laughs> yeah yeah well, that's next been week. going on for years <laughs> oh, it's a fucking theme <laughs> i like message him once every six months and he'll respond to every other one he's like yeah i can't because of the actor strike right now i'm like okay hey. what the <laughs> hell whatevs <laughs> we'll uh we'll see but uh yeah anyways um do you still want to ask him your question about the cookie bird? <laughs> no, no. I don't think there was a question there. No, he no. He was about was to just... say, like, what software do you use or what <laughs> yeah. fucking pencil yeah, was gonna do be you like use a... when you draw? It was going to be something. Yeah, we could skip that. Yeah, it was going to be something like that. <laughs> exactly. And I'm like, that would be a decent question if we were ever in that realm. But we're not really there, you know. So yeah. I was not impressed. Yeah. Um, OK, you got you got anything else? Cool. All right. So, um, <laughs> um, 
Um, um, you literally told me you've been preparing this like the last couple of hours. They're the all clock. dumb. Okay. I can tell you cool. what all the things I have on here are. Sure. Go ahead. I think we already touched go on ahead. some of them. I was, he's going to say they're really stupid, by the way, Rio. And then he's going to read them out. And then like, me oh. and you are both be like, you know what? That it's actually a pretty fucking cool question, Bert. It's not job. bad. <laughs> Why did you go to the fucking gayest one out of all of them? <laughs> yeah. The cookie. So the cookie. Yeah. I just wanted to say I'm really bitter about that, and I'd like you to apologize. <laughs> <laughs> Me? Yeah, no, I'm <laughs> I, I didn't yep. need to step on any toes, dude. <laughs> no, keep stepping on him. He needs to be taught a lesson. Yeah. <laughs> no, a burger just needed the relief pitcher, and then... And then fucking the star came in. Uh, no. <coughs> no, I was going to ask about the creative process because uh, I, I like the way you – like it in the moment, I'm like, fuck, I don't even remember that guy. And then like I knew exactly who the characters were on your uh, your drawings. Oh, uh, that was cool. Um, uh, what is that? You? Oh, shit. Something about orgs too. You playing with Burger. I was wondering yeah, if you did a I, lot I, of I, orgs. I, I, I oh, wanted yeah. to ask you guys about yeah. like, creating an org. How's because I because I, I think my like my like passion project for like the last year has been like making it like a survivor type board game. And uh, so like that would be dope. crazy. Yeah. I I'll show you guys after what I got. But like creating an org, what how's that been? Gay. A process. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Stupid. It's a stinky. Lot. Yeah. It's a lot. And we're not um, even going that crazy. Yeah, no, how's it been? It's something we really want to do. We've talked about it, and Bert and I really like orgs, but the the uh, commitment and stress to them is a lot. So we kind of like the idea of making an org, making it like your baby, and then watching people just kind of go crazy in yeah. it and figure out all your stuff. But starting, it's really hard. Um, and especially when yeah. you have Bert and I have never modded before in an org. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. um, we're basically just making shit up as we go. Yeah. Yeah. We, we had, a, who have we had all these people that were interested and then they like just didn't really do anything with it. So like we had this guy named Rio who <laughs> said that he would do the art for the org and I've yet to get anything from it. So, what are you talking about? I drew hella um, shit. Oh, outside of the fucking food well, you made. You <laughs> um, make. He's like, oh shit. Bert and I have sex with each other. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> and we'll start there. That's going to be the merge <laughs> picture. Because <laughs> there's going to be try Bert and try Burger, and then we're going to merge. Uh, so I want your baby. Patty. It's going to be Sodom and Gomorrah at that point. I like that. Yeah, I, I figured you would. So, okay. um, but but the org, uh, it, it, it's 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 a slow process. Um, we need somebody like Ashley that actually knows how they fucking work to start off. Like, can you make the bike and then we'll take the training wheels off and give her hell? Oh, but yeah, bro. We don't have anything to sit on right now, so <laughs> just to post up our ass. <laughs> fucking <laughs> Yeah, seriously. So, um, yeah, we we had some we had some work done. I mean, you can go to the you're still in the org, so you can see yep. kind of the skeleton of it. True. It's it's getting there. It's um, there. Yeah. How have you been in uh, orgs? You're you're in one right now, aren't you? Yeah, oh, I was playing shit. a Big Brother one. Um, yeah, you're still in that one. Yeah, Final Seven. It's nice. like. It's supposed to be secret identity. So, when's this? When's this getting posted? Um, a couple days, lol. <laughs> All right, I won't say too much, but it's it's big. You you should. I think you'd be good in a Big Brother org burger. Yeah, thank you it's for of, clarifying you know, it because we <laughs> both know you weren't talking about Bert. Well, I don't. I've never seen Bert in an org. I've heard he um was a jury goat once. I go crazy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and then I fucking brought her up the rear. They had no idea who they were fucking with. You know, let me talk to you about this motherfucker <laughs> named Rio. This <laughs> asshole. I can't stand this dickhead. So he he he's talking to me in my last org that I'm in. Um, 
And, you know, he's like, fuck this guy, fuck this bitch, like all of this shit. Like, <laughs> you're going to win and all of this. And then when the org, I don't know if Rio realizes this, but when the orgs open at the end, I can read everything. <laughs> And all I see is Rio talking to the spectators about how much of a bitch I am <laughs> and oh, how no. in this other org we were in together, I did this and that and it was crazy and he's such a pussy. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, what I know what you're fuck? talking about. You're <laughs> yeah, I, wasn't, I wasn't that mean. <laughs> and I, I like take a screenshot of it. I'm like, you're fake as shit, dude. And he's like, baby, it ain't like that. <laughs> I was just annoyed because the, the guy you needed to take out, you was right there, but you didn't want to do it. Nah, bro. I, I, I had strategy behind it. So you did come in second. I, I did not expect you to come in second. So it proves me yeah, wrong. Yeah. Yeah. And I would have won if my day one didn't vote for him. But hey, <laughs> that's we've already said our piece about that. Were you so one anyways, vote away? it was a five three. And if my day one voted for uh, me, it would have yeah. been four four. Oh uh, yeah, she would have voted for you. Damn. Third place would have, yeah, gave me the dub there. But I'm not talking about that because that guy listens to the show. But sure, so um, <laughs> he's a good guy. I like him. Very deserving winner. Yeah, um, he was good. In my opinion, if I didn't, t- if I took him out and left the other gal there, I think she would have won it. But um, yeah, you know, I think it was a. A lose lose situation. I'd rather have a friend of mine win than you get better each time. You know, you you started from going home with idols in your pockets and you got fourth, now you got second. Yeah. Yeah. I got an idol in my pocket, went home, and then I beat Rio in the other one, and then I got (laughs) runner up in the other one. So that was dope. So only one thing left. Yeah. So, um, yeah. No, I mean, that's, that's where Rio and I met, honestly, was in Ashley's org. We played together. Um, and we actually became pretty good friends after the org is over. I actually talked to Rio a trillion times more than I talked to the quote unquote best duo that I won with. Mm, yeah, with that guy. I haven't <laughs> talked to him since. That was um, fake. And uh, I tried to talk to Rio. I tried to work with Rio in that org. He was an yeah, asshole. I did, not, I did not trust you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't trust you either. And then he starts saying all this shit. About how he knew he was going to get ready to go home and he's telling me all of this stuff like, actually, I shouldn't go home here because I'm like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Hey, whatever, buddy. <laughs> Talk to the whole buddy. <laughs> he did fake me out with a fake idol. That was a good play. That. I still yeah. love that. The fucking typos and all. <laughs> yeah, <if I> <laughs> there, was no there was no it typos. It wasn't typos. The grammar, like, though, was not the way it was not uh, formatted the same way. <laughs> Ashley even yelled at me for that. So yeah, they, I uh, that. Ashley roasted me a couple of times. Um, <laughs> so yeah, but Rio, don't get him wrong. He's a hell of an org player. He won. Um, best I've never won that season. Oh, I did. I did. I did. Yeah. Yeah. You got it. best player, best strategist or some shit like that. Yeah. Um, I got villain I mean, of the year. Um, and you earned good. it. <laughs> <laughs> you are yeah i'll take it that was like what's that one uh what's the miss contini uh, college miss how do you say oh, yeah i i got i almost won that so i almost won I know, that like, and villain of the season <laughs> yeah so i'll i'll take it but um no uh, uh rio's uh rio's a hell of an org player so um and I don't I, I hope Rio's OK if I say this story, but we had a mutual in this other org that I just played in. Oh, and she, no, no, her her yeah. and I were talking about <laughs> how people that we know and she's like she starts giggling. She's like, ah, oh, your friends with Rio. I see. Yeah, he told me he was going to show his cock and balls to the org if he won <laughs> this challenge. And I'm like, yep, that's Rio. <laughs> yeah. She said our humors were similar, so she said yeah. we're the same person. So Rio just started going ham, and I'm like, yeah, that's definitely the same Rio. Uh, he said the same shit in our org. A third by her. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. Her. Rio literally was like, oh, you're playing with this fucking chick. You got to vote her out immediately. Her and I won best fucking alliance together. So <laughs> Yeah, final. I was so mad. I needed, I needed, I needed revenge for that org. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was, uh, she's a great oh, That gal, person's cool. That person's cool. She's dope. Um, But yeah, we, uh, we played in that org together. 
Rio got fifth. I got fourth. The reason why we took Rio out at fifth was because Rio was very easily going to fucking win that entire thing. So <sighs> that was where Another we had to play as other people. That's where I played as Sydney, and you played as how do you say his name? Voce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Voce. Yeah, some like is is he the weird one? Um, Voce. I think he's chill. It, okay, because I know Survivors had some weird ones. We'll say uh-huh. that would be Rio, where he play someone he shouldn't <laughs> um dan Spilo was an option when you were picking who to play as yeah that's see that's what i'm saying so <laughs> instead i chose sydney for obvious reasons oh um, yeah because she's on the pod yeah obvious. <laughs> fucking you want to out there play as a girl okay so anyways um <laughs> okay. yeah orgs orgs are dope haven't made too much progress on it i have no interest in playing in one anytime soon. Bert's at, Bert's on the middle ground, at least before he was an absolute. No, now he's more in the warm water. So we'll have to watch Bert play sometime. Real. I would love to. Oh God. He's very boring to watch. Yeah. I had so much shit that I wanted to do before, you know, like I had the fucking groundwork out and then things just didn't fall into place the way I wanted them to. This because you didn't do them. You just well, were talking about how busy you were. And I didn't did. Talk to anybody. I, just, I, I just wasn't good. You at were last people. on everybody's trust rankings. Yeah. Like, I don't even remember. He's That's in the funny. order. That's honestly. what it was. I wasn't good at getting people to like follow along. I Again, guess. because you weren't doing anything. You yeah. weren't even logging into discord during the day. So, <laughs> yeah, I wasn't good. Yeah. Inactive is what we call that. But what the anyways, fuck? Off the fucking org talk, Survivor Season 47, boys, is coming out in a couple of days. By the time this episode of Burton Berger airs, the first episode of 47 oh, is going to be out. Bert has still not finished 46. Man, I don't have to ask because I know he hasn't. <laughs> yeah. Um, That's a good one. God, I'm yeah. Let's see how close He's like I halfway am. through. He's like he's like halfway through. Yeah. Um what are what are your kind of closing thoughts on 46 of Survivor Rio and what are you kind of thinking about 447? I I think of you when I when I think about it cuz a lot of going home with idols in their pockets. Oh, are you going to say like wanting to kill? <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But yeah. um, oh, I only have three. Yeah, there's like left. four people in a row. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 we'll never see that again. It was it was, it was fun time mm-hmm yeah it was insane i liked it i feel like every single season since the new era began has gotten better like i really didn't like 41 at all outside of the people that said they'd come on the show <laughs> yeah they 42 were was better 43 was better 44 45 and like 46 i mean it was pretty good 45 was really good too um yeah really like that one better and better in this yeah they are yeah no and 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 i like uh i like 46 um i really like uh again like i like when it's real like i don't know bert have you seen um liz's freak out yet um okay so he hasn't so okay um, i have three episodes left so you probably should have where she screamed at um for for not being selected okay. on a on Apple an East. award, yeah, hmm. not not sounding some, familiar. Some good stuff. Maybe I'm crazy. Yeah. I remember her being fucking okay. pissed off because somebody else or th- there was a big move and she thought she was the one who deserved the credit for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, okay, that's a small moment. So either you're stupid and <laughs> yeah. you don't remember the big one, or you're not there yet. So, <laughs> um, that's the kind of shit I like in Survivor. Like, I don't think. Liz was worried about uh, TV time at that point. She was genuinely angry. She was pissed. She is one of my least favorite contestants of all time now because of <laughs> that. So I thank her for that. And she's probably somebody I don't want to talk to on the show. So don't. So stop DMing, DMing so us, don't please. invite um, her. Okay, got it. Lol, 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 lol. Um, <laughs> but no, like that's the kind of shit I like to see. And um, there's, a, there's a lot more of it. Uh kind of shit and 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 i'm excited to see more of that in in 47 um do you have any ideas or what are some of the rumors you've heard rio of what 50 is going to be no i don't know i hope they do um like old school versus new school or something should get some old players in there but it's all returning players right 
Yeah, yeah, it'll probably just be like a bunch of new era people. Yeah, that's confirmed. That'd be so stupid if it was. I know. I hope they don't. Was all new era. They can do new era people. That's fine, but don't. Yeah, Jeff said it won't be all new era people, but I'm sure it's going to be like a lot of the people we haven't even seen yet from 47, 48. So Mm -hmm. and 49. Fuck yeah, it's going to be all Mm -hmm. shit. Bert, are you a big Survivor fan? Like the show? Not not as much as you two. It sounds like, but I am. I I enjoy it quite a lot when I do watch it. I think I've probably seen like what fifteen seasons now, fifteen or sixteen oh, seasons. Bert's seen yeah, one he, through ten, and he's also seen forty one through forty five, and he's about yeah. three quarters of the way through forty six. Yeah. Holy shit! Really, one through ten? Yeah, he hasn't finished ten yet though. Well, those old seasons are hard Perfect. to get through, but they're good sometimes. I love. Them. I like the old school shit. Way yeah, more I wish they would bring people back from those, like the Vesepia. I hope they bring her back from season four. Vesepia, fucking, I <laughs> never liked that bitch. Oh my gosh. Yeah, <laughs> stay off my podcast. Go away. <laughs> okay. Yeah, go away. Yeah, Rio. Rio's being very PG right now on here, ladies and gentlemen. I want you to know. Um, I'm not gonna leak nothing because I love Rio, but. <laughs> He's kind of like Bert, where Bert seems like the tame one. <laughs> Bert gets nasty. He gets very nasty. Uh-huh. I've had to delete his messages in Discord before. <laughs> like, yeah, we can't get those leaked. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not that bad. Yeah. Okay. Um. No, I'm. Uh, I'm stoked though. I mean, forty forty seven comes out in a couple of fucking days, and it's it's dope. Um. That's and. So don't um. It. I, Rio, am currently on on my survivor journey. I'm on 27. It's a good one. It's one of my favorites. Blood versus water. You haven't seen that, right? No, I am. Um, I am at the I, there's two people on the jury right now. Oh, uh, yeah, the, the brothers. Yep. I like yeah. those two a lot. And so you like this hurt. season, you said. Yeah, it's like I think it's my favorite. That's dope. It's one of my least favorites. That's funny. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's so fucking oh gosh, like fuck this season. I think it picks up actually right where you're at. I don't I don't know why you dislike it though, but I can tell you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, don't please I, I know why I don't like it. I'll start um, tear up. You better spell um, it. <laughs> I don't I think it's just too much outside shit that i mean obviously it's good there's gonna be a lot of outside shit when your family members are out there playing with you uh so not to not to spoil anything but uh, to those that don't know what happens including bert uh <laughs> in season 27 of blood versus water and of survivor they bring back like 10 contestants that have played before and each contestant brings a loved one with them to play the game with so um some people bring their wives if if they played before. Some people bring their nieces or their kids or their, their brothers. Cousin. Yeah, True. their cousin. <laughs> so that's why that one season that we played in Bert was a blood versus water season. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I remember hearing um, a little bit of the lore, but Yeah, so I'm on that season and uh there's people that there's literally mothers that have played the game that are playing it for a second time and they bring their daughters on and there's this one back. Yeah. Oh, it, it oh, happens. And, uh, and that's what I planned on doing in our org. If we made it there, mm-hmm. uh, for the podcast, not because I don't love you. No, I don't. Right. Um, um, the reason why I don't like it though, Bert is like, there's that one woman. I don't, she played in uh, the same season as, as Russell and Samoa. Yeah. Um, mm. she, uh, yeah yeah i know which one you're talking about who the fuck do you think i'm talking about (laughs) not natalie who else no one of there's a lot of females that played with them dickhead yeah i know which one you're talking about though which one i don't know exactly (laughs) you (laughs) shut the hell up you're doing that fake filler shit that i hate stop um rio do you know who i'm talking about i think it was laura is that her name yeah yeah so she her her daughter comes on and Every time she beats her daughter, she like starts crying. What the fuck? You want to do that if you beat Bert? 
I would fucking give him the finger. Your happiness. I'd be like Aris's brother, where Aris is like, okay, let's stand uh, up yeah. and reset, yeah. and then fucking Vitas just fucking elbow like checks him while they're resetting. <laughs> yeah. Just cheap shots. I would do that all the you time. You like that scene? That's, that's, I love that scene. He starts crying. I love that scene, <laughs> but I don't cringe. like when the mom starts crying because she mm. beat her daughter in like a puzzle thing. It's just fucking cringe. Mm. And so that's kind of where I don't like it to where there's just there's too much extra drama going on that I don't care about. It's starting to get like housewifey too much. Ah, see, uh, 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 that's, that's, uh, uh, that's what I like about it, but mom. Maybe, yeah. You know, okay. Say, you're say a sap like bird is then you <laughs> fucking cried during Dwayne the rock Johnson commercials too. Oh um, baby. Yes. I mean, emotional wreck. <laughs> I don't yeah. think I've seen those commercials. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Now he's in denial. So I uh it's not a terrible season. I mean, I'm pretty sure I know who wins it. I think I got that spoiled, but yeah. um I uh it's it's not bad. It's just there's so much extra shit on there that I just don't I don't care about. Like I think uh, keep watching. I think it picks up right where you're at. No, oh, I am not gonna not finish it. I'm gonna watch yeah, every single months season. Since started, but, so. Uh kinda, yeah. I was on uh One World, I think, for a while. You um, like that one, right? I think so. I See, people hate that one. Yeah, I I'm I, I tend to go <laughs> against the grain quite a bit in about <laughs> everything I do in my life, I've noticed. So um yeah, it's a it's a process, but um, it's we're we're making our way downtown, boys. As as we like to see, yeah. I'm kind of nervous. So like, I only got like ten more seasons left till I'm caught up. That's scary. Let's do it. I don't want to be caught up. <laughs> I don't want to turn into a loser like Rio, where I can tell you the fourth person voted out on season twelve and what their last name is and where they were fucking born and shit like that. <laughs> so, oh but honestly, one of my favorite humans in the world does that and that's steven from survivor quotes x i know i like we that, all know, that account we all know who that guy is he's one of my favorite human beings <laughs> he's the fucking love that guy um oh yeah yeah him and i uh i he has a very blunt way of like describing stuff that i love it and he's just like what's this guy up to yeah he's in jail because he sucked another guy's cock <laughs> when he was sleeping and um oh <laughs> uh, and you can't do that in the state he's from so he got in a lot of trouble for that wow <laughs> i'm like no oh, okay. damn dude yeah I, he's the one that also suggested a, a holocaust island or cannibal holocaust oh yeah we had yes, to watch yes. that together so too much what is that yeah cannibal it's, holocaust. Uh, we used to we used to ask a, a guest uh the most effed up movie they've seen and bert and i would watch it and he wa- he suggested a movie where like monkeys got skinned in real life and shit. Yeah, like, oh, that Steven, gross. what the hell? That's where we had to start saying snuff films are not allowed. Um, <laughs> cool, he made he's a like, rule. Yeah, I was twelve. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That explains a lot, honestly, dude. Uh huh. <laughs> it it really do. Um, but yeah, so um, new seasons coming out. Um, Rio is being bashful and doesn't want to talk about it, but. I have yet to make any progress on my audition clips. I'm pissed off. I'm a lot funnier than Rio is. <laughs> yeah. I haven't I applied this. I haven't applied this year yet. Yeah. I, you're the one that told me to apply. You, you did. Yeah. You, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I just, you know, it's too late. I have to do it. It's Don't waste late. your time. I sent him an old video. So, Oh, you idiot. I got, oh, um, yeah. I got a script all written out for the next one that i'm gonna do but i just haven't done it yet you should do it i get nervy (laughs) yeah and i feel it (laughs) i remember christian hubicki talked about his like he sent a video and the casting guy called him like the next day was like hey why don't you do take a few shots and then record another video so you should yeah so maybe you should try that burger be a little drunk for it (laughs) dude you know i've seen some audition tapes like i saw sandra's for pearl islands and johnny fair plays mm-hmm. holy fuck they're bad no i you probably like them because you're fucking softy, I haven't seen but, them. but i was like so bored with it i would be they're, terrible they're I'd probably terrible. recruited first and like and they were just 
formality to make a video. Yeah. Yeah. They just faked it or something. Oh, I but see. I, yeah. I tell you what though, like I would be so terrible at like the recruiting process. I'd be like boring, 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 yawn, yep. fake, fake, fake. Yeah. But, you know, that's what they do. They just be skipping. Yeah. Well, I mean, some people like, I know casting has gotten a lot of shit recently for some of the people they've casted in the past handful of seasons. Um, really? Where, well, we just, do you remember um, the season like a few years ago where like two people quit like back to back? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. and like, where the fuck do they find these people? might have been, <laughs> uh, uh, it was like 45 or something like that were the very first two people that got out, like quit. It was, yeah, I'd, pr- I'd probably quit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm, same. Yeah. Boy, yeah. this it was, is tough. Yeah. It literally, the epitome is that Brandon guy that was on yeah, a year yeah, or two yeah, ago. Yeah. That guy is who Bert would be, Rio, if he I went I like that on. guy. Yeah, yeah. He's a G. So that guy, Bert looks very similar to him and acts the same way. Bert would definitely be the guy that thinks he's the God at all of this stuff and then gets tired out just climbing up the ladder and he's just hanging on the side of the boat with his love handles out. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, that yeah. would totally be Bert. Bert would be the guy that starts climbing the rope ladder and then falls on his face like Brandon did and just lays there like Peter Griffin. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. I feel like it's overwhelming. All those cameras and shit. I, I feel like that's I, what I I'm like saying. Like, Bert would be very overwhelmed and would he would just lay there ass. until Jeff yelled at him. And my favorite is when Brandon had to do a puzzle and he's like, oh, I'm a fucking puzzle genius. I'm a fucking kick ass on this. <laughs> he didn't even get like 8% of the way done with the puzzle and ran out of time. <laughs> that is my cousin to the fucking T right there. That is what the cherry on top was. Yeah, I'm the puzzle guy. I got you guys. I won't let you down. Don't worry. Then just stares yeah. at it. Oh, and then it, as the hourglass just goes out. <laughs> now, Brandon's a good guy. I I, I, I feel like I'd, I'd also fucking struggle with that shit but mm-hmm. yeah Bert no. probably would too <laughs> yeah, yeah no he uh oh, i i i think i would like brandon a lot um it's just as a contestant um i was like damn i know a lot of people give him shit for that so i don't like to just beat a dead horse or anything but um yeah that's very much Bert. um mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't very know. much I Bert. yeah i don't know i the thing with me is I know like I would be good at it and I think I could get a pretty easy ride to the jury uh, if I made it. Um, but I'm never going to be the smartest person in the room or the best at challenges uh, or the best social player Um in in a season or something i think i can always be the mediocre guy that like everybody likes but nobody fucking really remembers you (laughs) or anything like that yeah that that'd probably be how i would be if i'm being honest yeah that's fair (laughs) yeah i also think you're like how both of you guys (laughs) both of (laughs) you guys are like yeah i'd quit (laughs) yeah yeah I would just want to make it to the island, so. Yeah. <laughs> Not puke on the fucking boat. Uh-huh. Rio, how would you do with the, um, because you're, I mean, orgs are one thing, I will say. Like, yeah. I try not to be like, oh, I do good in an org. I'll be good on Survivor kind of thing. What about the physicals part of it? How do you think you would yeah. do? I can't on- swim. I feel like that's a thing I think about when I think about it. I can't swim at it- all. I would have to learn. Yeah. And what about like the survival aspect, like sleeping in with bugs and dehydration and hungry and horny and Ooh. <laughs> I was good up. I don't think I would like one. I don't think I would like the bugs. I actually eating without eating, I feel like I'd be okay. Like I haven't eaten today. So maybe mm-hmm. I'd be okay with that part. But yeah, the bugs and the, the water, I don't know. I'd probably die. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I'm fine. You had some I'm optimism. Fine. Yeah. yeah. As he's floating away. <laughs> exactly. I'm good. I'm good. I never really learned how to swim. <laughs> floating yeah. into the ocean. There's there has been people on the fucking show that have uh that don't know how to swim. Yeah. So you wouldn't be the only one, Rio. 
Um, <laughs> yeah, I think, I think the physical part, the thing that I would struggle with the most is probably the sleeping part. I'm a very light sleeper. God, I'm he's really. horrible. I'm, I'm terrible. <laughs> he's horrible. So the, the snoring and the fucking bugs in the distance and the creaking and shit like that. I just went camping last night. Actually, me and my buddies went backpacking out in the woods and oh, fun. I, I mean, I was fucking drunk. I had earplugs in and I took melatonin. I mean, <laughs> yeah, fucking, fucking three hitter cocktail of getting knocked the fuck out. That's how I'd have to get any sleep out there. In the, <laughs> Did you sleep? The island. Oh yeah. Like a fucking baby. <laughs> but, <laughs> damn. But I felt like it was more like getting roofied. <laughs> okay. Where, uh, <laughs> you just woke up in a fucking tent out in the woods. What the yeah, hell? Well, it was more like I was unconscious. I don't know if it was productive oh, okay. sleep. I oh, remember I that was. I I remember this is a very controversial thing I used to say when I was like thirteen. Um, but I would say I'd always say I wanted roofies. <laughs> and okay. hang on, uh-huh. hang on, don't cut it yet, editor Bert. Uh-huh. Not done yet because I would love to pop a roofie and just go to sleep after <laughs> and is i remember what some what would you say is that what they do i don't yeah they fucking make somebody extremely unconscious why, yeah, why are you asking crazy. questions you already know the answer to rio look at you over here like oh dumb. what the fuck are, what's a roofie yeah um <laughs> but somebody told me like i don't know how they knew this it's kind of freaky now i don't know why a, another 13 year old knew this but um <laughs> okay Kind of like the movie theater guy that told me you gotta feed the bodies to the pigs. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Um, because they can still read their dentist records. Um, okay. But they said like the roofies just like knock you out. It's not like you go to sleep. You're not like honk chewing or anything like that. You're like, like got hit in the back of the head with a baseball oh, bat. Like concussion. Like there's like type there's like no brain activity. <laughs> yeah. 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 It ain't rest. So <laughs> yeah. that's kind of how I feel because I slept pretty good, but I woke up feeling like shit. Fuck. So maybe it oh, was, man. you know, being hung over too, and, but also sleeping on the fucking dirt. And all that <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I think I, I don't know. Another thing is, and I think you guys can agree with this is you really never know what that experience is like until you're actually doing it. Mm-hmm. So yeah, you it's can easy for us that. to sit here. Yeah. And watch it with a bowl of Doritos in one hand and your finger in your ass in the other while you're watching these people uh, uh-huh. play the game. But like even last night, we were we were trying to cut wood for fire, and I had to saw, and I'm just going to town on this fucking log, and I'm literally dripping in like sweat. <laughs> and I look up and I see my two friends just sitting in chairs, staring at the bonfire, talking to each other. That pissed you off? Yeah, and I'm like, I'm done. I'm not fucking cutting this anymore. <laughs> yeah, Fuck this shit. Uh, I'm I'm kind of dumb. I, I'm done with this shit. Like, so if, what I'm saying is, if I was out on Real Survivor and I'm fucking gathering wood and picking berries and fucking fucking picking up people's hard turds and stuff, <laughs> okay. Like, and I see them just <laughs> sleeping in the hammock, and then they would say like, I don't have to do anything because I know I'm not going home. You're the one going home. I think I would get like a charge on me or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, want to run that one across my fucking face again, dick face. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, yeah, I would. Uh, <sighs> yeah. I'd probably catch a, another charge or something. But. I think we all got to play. You guys got to stream Roblox. That game we used to play burger. Yeah. Okay. True, That's another thing true. I wanted to talk to you about. This <laughs> fucking kid literally is like those kids you when you go over to like your sister's house and her nephew's like can i you got phone games on your phone can i play on your phone can i play on your phone that's how fucking rio was with roblox for a very long it's time so with me. it's so fun yeah he was like yo roblox tonight baby um and he would send <laughs> did you really, have fun? <laughs> really gay messages to me um Rio, I think the best part about playing Roblox with you was just hearing the joy in your voice over the most like pixelated Minecraft looking fucking game I've ever played in my life. Oh, man. Uh, and he would be no. like, like a, a, a frame of a challenge would come up. He's like, okay, so the strategy on this one is 
<laughs> yeah, he already knew no what it was. For a while. Oh, yeah, so he was like, okay, you always start out with the coconut in the corner, and you want to take that coconut, and you want to put it in the middle square. You're going to be tempted to put it in the bottom one, but no, go <laughs> middle first. And I'm like, I don't even know what the rules are. And I always <laughs> felt like a toddler, because I, I don't play mouse and keyboard. So, like, Rio's calling me a fucking inbred, because I don't know how to play. Like, I'm like, how do I talk? <laughs> I see. How, how do I move? Uh-huh. It's so good. I, I, I'm i a big drinker and I, I like to drink probably every night. But like when I was, dude, when I first found that Roblox game, I I, 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 I would just play that. That would, that was my alcohol for a while. <laughs> it's so good. You guys should play it. I want to yeah. see you guys play it. I, I, uh, <laughs> I would have a glass of wine and then like, all right, babe, go play fucking Roblox. Hell yeah. Fun. We got to do it again. That sounds this like kid night. across the fucking planet wants me to play with him. Uh-huh. <laughs> so and then it was like a it was a little bit of a ritual for us for a couple of weeks we probably for a month it was like every monday at like nine o'clock or something so like good. that so good Rio and i would jump on and, and play a game or two and uh so then he ghosted me hard got busy but, got a job that uh, roblox is an unemployed game <laughs> yeah <laughs> and then anytime i would say like anything to him he would just say uh, he probably doesn't know he, he told me don't say that um <laughs> okay he would just yell at me for being too needy you are very needy oh big time and i'm like what the fuck this is your gay game <laughs> i don't even like it no you like it stop, stop. i i just miss you damn i didn't know that yeah <laughs> damn he says <laughs> damn i just wanted to hang out with my friend damn and then he's like there's other girls i'm sorry there's other roblox <laughs> games <laughs> <laughs> yeah so um it was cool and all but i know we were trying to get me to like the op roblox mode oh that's right yeah yeah. yeah. where if you win like five games mm-hmm. then you go to the like the gamer <laughs> mode yeah I've only played that once and I was, it's too much. Really? You told me it was amazing and you loved it. You um, only played it once. Wow. Maybe you voted me out. So fucking different. <laughs> hmm. It's stressful. It'd be fun with you, but no, they, they gang up on you anyways. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was, it was fun playing with Rio though. Cause, uh, uh, and Roblox and it wasn't very practical though. Cause people just quit like all the time you remember that like as soon as they get voted out they just leave so yeah, like there's no yeah. way in the jury there would be like one person just chilling on the jury the whole time yeah you guys you should get bird on that though you want yeah. to practice for his next door yeah true get you true. warmed up you hit the gym yeah exactly yeah that's the that's the way to do it no it, it's fun um i i get in in those kind of moods every now and again um and they're a lot of fun they're very stressful they are a lot of work um maybe not roblox but orgs themselves so Mm -hmm. um they're they're draining i know we've talked about all three of us have talked about that how mentally draining these fucking things can be oh they're crazy Yeah, yeah so i feel like obviously uh as we start to to wrap up the episode i feel like you can't compare orgs to the real thing because it's not even close, but I do think there is some merit to it in one way or another. Totally. Right. Um, but also another thing too, when you're on the real show, that is all you're fucking doing. Is Survivor. 100%. It is hard to balance a career while playing an org. <laughs> yeah. It's it's or you're a student and trying to be in an org and things like that, where like I'm fucking like running on a treadmill with my phone in my hand being like, vote out dickhead. They don't like you. And then I got to like set my phone down real quick and keep running. And then they respond back within five seconds. And then if you don't respond back within 10 seconds, they think you lied. Yeah, that's what Rio did all the time. Thought I was lying to him all the time. (laughs) It's great. So. um yeah so rio's rio's one of those people where i knew someone would tell me what he was going to tell me then rio starts telling me i'm like i can see this motherfucker literally lying through his teeth (laughs) (laughs) he's like you're the swing vote here when he knows he's taking me out of the fucking equation Uh my vote's not gonna matter (laughs) yeah yeah yeah. you have so much power here dude be with us 
please, please. And I'm like, Rio, I know you're not even going to fucking vote here, but I'm going to vote with you so you don't get suspicious. And afterward, he's like, baby, I'm so sorry for lying to you. Yeah, like you that. got me. You got me that round. <laughs> So, but yeah, no, anyways, thanks for coming on, man. Um, yeah, this was it, fun. Thank you guys. It was, yeah. yeah, no, it, uh, absolutely was. So, um, I know you got some stuff coming up that you can't talk about just yet, but do you have anything else that you can say? I mean, I'm sure you're already in your artwork for 47 and things yeah, like that. I'll definitely be posting doodles for 47. Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. Check those out. I'll, they'll link the account. I, sorry, I don't have a cool name yet, but. Hell yeah. Yeah. You got to come up with a cool one like Russell Rance. You should be yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, true. You just take it over. Doodles or something. And they're all yeah. taken. I was trying to do like real art, real doodles, but they're all taken. So I got to, I got to really sit on it. Just be like, Rio has small dong art. It might work. <laughs> yeah. Work. yeah. Already taken. Um, <laughs> yeah. Already taken. Damn. Yeah. Bert knows <laughs> all the small dong <laughs> usernames. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was so. not going to work. But yeah, no, we will link uh, Rio's uh, Instagram and such uh, for you guys to check out. He is uh, a good friend of the show and uh, glad that we were able to uh, have you stop on, man. Thank you for yeah, being uh, the first guest in like nine months. Hell Keep yeah. the momentum going. Yeah, I want to see you guys play Roblox, so that's what I want from Burton oh, Burger. So get that going. <laughs> we might stream it. Are you gonna come by the live streams or are you just yeah. gonna edge me like I'll, you do every other time? True. I'll come by, maybe I'll join the game. He Ooh. says I'll be there, and then the entire live stream he never showed up. Well, let's let's not do this right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's do this so, off here. Yeah, well, let's wait till we're not recording, buddy. Um <laughs> but uh yeah we we might do it but yeah check out rio's stuff down in the description below thank you for coming on man and uh hopefully we'll see you on the real show someday but uh make sure you do it after i'm on there so anyways as always thank you to the lovely listeners for listening to this episode of the burton burger podcast we're just trying to bring a little bit of the family element to the podcast world and as always at the end of the day it's all just comedy please calm down chill <laughs> chill don't get all sensitive like my cousin does true it's Rio ugly. after he gets fired from a job <laughs> Fuck. Out, jokes is ugly okay yeah <laughs> seriously it makes me cringe makes my yeah. toes curl Ew. yeah exactly we're just gonna see someone get heated in the org that we're running and we're just gonna say gross uh you i hate it when you do that <laughs> um do that again and you're getting kicked <laughs> yeah yeah uh-huh mm-hmm. so all right Thanks again, Rio, for stopping on, man. Thank you, guys. We appreciate you. And we will see all of you lovely folks in the next episode. Take care, everybody. Goodbye. Bye-bye. The official uh, cookie drawer. God damn. Cookie drawer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm proud of that one too. <laughs> Resident cookie drawer.